We're back again to who is oh, the, man. Cre the creator of the Bitcoin. And um, back in December, so what, like f five months ago, five and a half months ago, uh, this other person came to the fore, uh, 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 Craig Wright, W-R-I-G-H-T. Uh, and I, two publications uh, were, you know, claiming that he was the guy. We talked about it a little bit at, at the time. I didn't give it much time it on had, the podcast. It had broken during the show. Ah. Which is why. So you didn't have time to really think about it. And by the time we were back next week, it was like, yeah, that's bogus. <laughs> well, and, and he, he like, his, his location was raided. The and day not, that it he, was broken, and it was broken in uh, Gizmodo and Wired magazine, Yep. And it was sus it was suspect from the beginning, uh, and that day he was raided by Australian tax authorities. Right, right. So, um, and so we just let it drop. Okay. Then s suddenly, there's this big flurry a couple days ago, and I mean every because Bitcoin is a big thing, it's it's an opportunity for everyone on the internet to say something. Uh, about, you know, who is this? Anyway, my tweet from this morning, I, I got, uh, Craig Wright put up a second tweet this morning. Well, we should say that this, I, this started up again because the BBC and The Economist. Yes. Uh, BBC said, oh, we found him. Uh, this is for sure true. The Economist hedged it a little bit. In both, both cases, they were partially convinced by the former director of the Bitcoin Foundation, a man I've interviewed on Triangulation, Gavin Andresen, who is yeah. a smart and one thinks, one trusts uh, guy with integrity and one of the few people who's personally corresponded with Nakamoto. He took over the Bitcoin Foundation when Nakamoto withdrew from the Internet in 2011 uh, Andresen, he said to Andresen, okay, you're in charge. I'll see <laughs> see ya. So if anybody, you'd think uh, Gavin would be the guy to ask. And he met with Wright, flew to meet with Wright to see the, the proofs, the demonstrations of the proofs, and wrote on his blog, well, this is it. His, if there's, if I thought before I met with him it would be true, and it is. And of course, immediately uh, his commit keys were withdrawn from get on get up from from the Bitcoin uh, uh, repository because people thought either he was hacked or he's delusional. Uh, we right. still don't know. I don't think Gavin's said anything much since then. So, okay. So, uh, thank you for the background. Uh, yeah. So people know where we stand. Uh, yeah. So there was a first post a couple days ago, which. It just, it sort of felt like a shell game. I mean, very much like, you know, uh, like Craig, uh, who is, so this Craig Wright guy who is claiming to be Satoshi. He says in his first post, I, 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 do, I really sort of reluctantly have decided that I need to assert proof that I'm Satoshi because I was hoping this would all blow over back in December and it kind of did and but then again it kind of didn't and my friends and family and acquaintances are being harassed and, and it's it's like okay you know either you are or you're not and, and meanwhile he's and benefited what, significantly from the perception that he is Satoshi right and, and and the problem is that as we know from our podcast on Bitcoin years ago that it what there is ultimately is a private key and that private key is used to sign things and we talk about this sort of concept in in crypto on the podcast all the time and that if he purchased uh, if he spent a bitcoin that he mined and what we believe is that he's got a million bitcoins worth that are now worth so, 449 so the real Satoshi, Satoshi does. Correct. Satoshi. Yeah, right. The, we believe that the, the originator of the blockchain uh, uh, has, a, I mean, no, we know that there are a million Bitcoins presumably created by and owned by and being held by the real Satoshi. And all that's necessary is that if, if Satoshi wants to prove his identity... He spend 
a fraction he can of a Bitcoin. Move a Bitcoin from the Satoshi, the known Satoshi blocks. Yes. And, but but pre-announce it. Say, I, Dr. Craig Watson, am now going to move a coin <laughs> from the Satoshi block. That would be sufficient, right? Correct. Because unless he's stolen, the only his keys way to do that like is with the private key right. in the Bitcoin wallet. Right. Um, the so what this evidence unquote that was shown wasn't that it was some sort of obscure use of scripts and kind of again I I I, I liken was, it to it a was shell a game magic trick. where it was BS. yeah where where sort of some things were shown yeah. and some hashes were made and you know don't look behind the curtain and oh look these hashes are this are identical now uh a number of people have torn that apart then this morning um craig posted again and so i i read as i was preparing for the podcast his this latest blog posting of his that i'm going to share because what i tweeted was i sure hope this clown is not satoshi Get a load of this latest spew of nonsense. So, okay, so, and, and I mean, it, it, uh, I'll let people draw their own conclusions. But so, uh, he says, it, 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 it was t the, 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 the posting was titled, Extraordinary Claims Require Extraordinary Proof. And people have had a lot of fun with that already because it's like, no. Just, you know, <laughs> just proof. Any you know, proof. Just, you know, <laughs> real proof. Just real, exactly, real proof. Not extraordinary, <laughs> just <Real>. actual. <laughs> so he says, yesterday, Andreas uh, Antonopoulos posted a fantastic piece on Reddit. And this is Craig speaking in his, in his blog post this morning. Andreas said something critically important, and it bears repeating, quote, I think the identity of Satoshi Nakamoto does not matter. And then Craig continues, he's absolutely right. It doesn't and shouldn't matter to the Bitcoin community. I cannot deny, writes Craig, that my interest in bringing the origins of Bitcoin into the light, into the light, <laughs> is ultimately and undeniably a selfish one. The only person to whom this should matter is me. In the wake of the articles last December in which I was outed, I still believe that I could remain silent. <laughs> I still believed that I could retreat into anonymity, sever contact, go quiet, and that the storm would eventually pass and life would return to normal. I was right and wrong. The story did eventually retreat, but uh, but before it turned, but oh sorry, but not before it turned. And the allegations of fraud and hoax, not to mention personal threats and slurs against me and my family, clung to me. I now know that I can never go back, so I must go through. And go forward. Mr. Antonopoulos Post also notes that if Satoshi wants to prove identity, quote, they don't need an authority to do so. They can do it in a public, open manner. This, again, writes Craig, is absolutely true, but not necessarily complete. I can prove access to the early keys, and I can and will do so by moving Bitcoin. But this should be a necessary but not sufficient condition for such an extraordinary claim. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, and this is why I wanted to speak with Gavin weeks ago. Gavin was in a unique position as we dealt with each other directly while we nurtured Bitcoin to life in 2010. I knew that Gavin would remember the content of those messages and discussions and would recall our agreements, I'm sorry, recall our arguments and early interactions. I wanted to speak with Gavin first, not to appeal to his authority, but because I wanted him to know I owed him that 
It was important to me that we could reestablish our relationship. Simply signing messages or moving Bitcoin would never be enough for Gavin. Okay, I don't know what any of that means. He says, and it should not be enough for anyone else. No, sorry. It's just <laughs> spend some Bitcoin. Anyway, so he says, he finally says, so over the coming days, I will be posting a series of pieces that will lay the foundations for this extraordinary claim. This oh. really sounds like a, a con artist. Doesn't it? It Stroking does. Gavin, because yes. Gavin, you know, is the, is the mark. And it, yep. it just really feels like that kind of uh, Laying con. the found. I'll yeah. be posting a series a of pieces narcissistic. that lay the foundations yeah. for this extraordinary claim, which will include posting independently verifiable documents and evidence. No, just stop talking and do it, right? <laughs> exactly. Just do it. And addressing some of the false allegations that have been leveled and transferring Bitcoin from an early block. Mm -hmm. For some, there is no burden of proof high enough. <laughs> Swooning. No, no evidence that cannot be dismissed as fabrication or manipulation. This is the nature of belief, and swimming against this current would be futile. <laughs> you should be skeptical. You should question. I would. I will present what I believe to be extraordinary proof and ask only that it be independently validated. Ultimately, I can do no more, no more than that. <laughs> it's like, oh my lord! It's BS. anyway, so it's, it's just blatant BS. It's obvious. It is, and, uh, and so mean, you now you understand why my tweet was. I sure hope this clown is not Satoshi. Get uh, a load no of this latest spew of nonsense. Yeah. Um, Robert Graham followed up with a a very nice cryptographic yeah, deconstruction yeah. titled How Craig Wright's Deception Worked, where he basically takes apart what was done a few days ago, and no one understood a few days ago why he just didn't do it. And we're, we're still waiting. I mean, I, we don't know until, you know, we don't know what's, what's going to come next. But he says I, I he's... I love it that he puts screenshots of the proof. Yes, with typos, by the way, uh, the 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 bash commands that he uses wouldn't actually run oh. if you typed them in. So this is it's this is very common kind of con artist behavior, uh, and it's sad because I feel that Gavin's been taken in by it. But well, the guy, the Craig should just dig dig a hole and cr crawl in it and stop yeah. doing anything because i don't you, i don't if, if you wonder what the what, what's in it for him he's he has left australia he's on he's in a flight there because he owes a lot of money to the tax authorities because what he was doing was using bitcoin to generate tax refunds and collecting actual cash for bitcoin transactions and uh and so and by the way if you're satoshi you, you like don't really need, need to do this because you've got a hundred million dollars in bitcoin uh, yeah, so he would do these. These th he did the thirty million dollar Bitcoin transaction and ask for a tax refund. The tax refunds in real Australian dollars, so he'd get the check. Uh, That's why he was under investigation. Uh, and they want his money back, so he left the country. They want. It's, is that why he's in London? Yeah, it, it, it's it's just a, it's obvious what's going on. Yeah, it's sad, and you know, Gavin and Dresden has not published anything since his original confirmation. There's some question in my mind. Maybe he was compromised. Where is he? What is his response? Or maybe he's just embarrassed. Because you know, if you've been conned, what you want to do is is oh no 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 really it's it's you want to you you double down on it. You want exoneration. Yeah, you don't want to admit that you were fooled. Yeah. So it's sad. So, for our listeners, we still don't know. But <laughs> you know, <laughs> John McAfee's been a little quiet lately, so we have some more entertainment. Wow.